Oh, the dragon's balls are blazing as I stepped into his cave. Then I sliced his fucking cockles with a long and shiny blade. Twas I who fucked the dragon, fuck a lie, sing, fuck a loo. Hi, beautiful people. It's your girl, Faye. I'm back, but clearly, I'm back with another reaction video. And uh, in today's episode, I'm here with the song Kikapu. Uh, this is by Tenesha D. And uh, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what it will unfold. Uh, so I'm hoping that you're going to take this journey with me all the way to the end. Uh, and uh, as per usual, I'll be giving my comment as well as interpretation at the end. So I'm hoping to see you there. And uh, if this is the kind of content you are interested in, look no further because you're right in the right place. So go ahead right now and do that magic. Smash on the subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already and uh, be part of this beautiful family. Uh, so before I begin the song Kikapu, I'd love to give a shout out uh, to Gary for sponsoring today's video. So Gary, Thank you so much. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, Kikapu and see what uh, Tenesha D has to say about it. And uh, you know the drill. Remember to stick until the end because uh, that's where we've got the juice. And again, why not? So let's dig in. fucking time ago in a town called Kickapoo. They lived a humble family, religious through and through. But yay, there was a black sheep, and he knew just what to do. His name was young JP, and he refused to step in line. A vision he did see of fucking rocking all the time. He wrote a tasty jam, and all the planets did align. Oh, wow, this seems like it's going to be interesting. I love stories. You already know about that. And uh, from uh, where we've reached, I've seen uh, Bohemian Rhapsody image there, like the Queen. I've seen the Who. This is going to be interesting. So it's a story, and uh, let's let's just start it over, cause uh, and actually there is always a black sheep in every family, right? So let's see what what uh, Kikapu is about. They lived a humble family, religious through and through. But yay, there was a black sheep, and he knew just what to do. His name was young JP, and he refused to step in line. A vision he did see of fucking rocking all the time. He wrote a tasty jam, and all the planets did align. <laughs> oh, the dragon's balls are blazing as I stepped into his cave. Then I sliced his fucking cockles with a long and shiny blade. Twas I who fucked the dragon, fuck a lie. on the family like the parents face oh my goodness that is just everything did you see even the mother is praying <laughs> wow this is going to be cool i'm taking it back <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, which band is that? Dio, can you hear me? I am lost and so alone. I'm asking for your guidance. Would you come down from your throne? I need a tight compadre Gio. who will teach me how to rock. My father thinks you're evil, but man, he can suck a cock. Rock is not the devil's work, what? it's magical and rad. I'll never rock as long as I am stuck here with my dad. I hear you brave young jables, you are hungry for the rock. But to learn the ancient methods, secret doors you must unlock. Escape your father's clutches in this oppressive neighborhood. On a journey you must go to find the land of Hollywood. In the city of fallen angels, where the ocean meets the sand, you will form a strong alliance and the world's most awesome brand. Wow, this is so interesting. I love stories and uh, such stories just uh, make me happy. This is so interesting. Uh, Dio. So, that's a band. No idea, but uh, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying this so far and uh, I'm loving the story. So, let's see how this uh, turns out and yeah, let's enjoy <laughs> So he built from fucking Kickapoo with hunger in his heart And he journeyed far and wide to find the secrets of his art But in the end he knew that he would find his counterpart And like that, I wanted more honestly. Uh, so that was the uh, Kikapu uh, by Tenacious D. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I wish it was uh, longer to see how like uh, uh, the boy succeeded and all that. So I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, uh, please uh, consider to give it some love, give it a thumbs up, and then drop a comment and uh, share what uh, wowed you the most about it and uh, how did uh, this song make you feel. And uh, what is your interpretation to it, if any? Uh, so for me, I really enjoyed the instrumentals in it. Uh, the story being a story, I love stories. And uh, I'll not interpret this because uh, the story is so clear. It's about a boy who was uh, in a religious family and uh, was uh, into rock and roll, but uh, it wasn't accepted in uh, their home. So he had to, to go against the father's will and uh, go find his life. and. Uh, Basically that, which uh, is a story for most uh, like uh, rock and roll uh, artists because uh, I believe from what uh, you guys have been telling me on the comment section, like uh, back then rock and roll was considered devil music. So parents were against it and uh, people had to rebel to be able to shine in that. So basically, yeah, I'm really uh, enjoying this and uh, I hope you loved it. So let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed it and uh, if you did. Give it some love, give it a thumbs up, and then uh, let's have a conversation down below. Uh, so that brings us to the end of uh, today's episode. Uh, so before I go, once again, Asante Nisana, that is Swahili for thank you so much uh, for watching this with me. It's always a pleasure, and uh, I'm loving this uh, adventure, and I hope you're loving it as well. Uh, so if today is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome and feel right at home don't forget to smash on the subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already uh, so that you can be part of this beautiful family and uh, if you'd love to be notified whenever i post a video which is every day 
consider to hit that uh, notification bell and uh, by doing that you will not miss out on any episode going forward and last but not least if uh, you'd love to support this channel you my friends are welcome to do so all you need to do check the description below where you'll find the link to my patron community as well as my paypal address and uh, just like gary you too can have guaranteed requests through either platforms as well so once again asanteni sana swahili again for thank you so much and uh, gary thank you so much for this uh, beautiful story uh, so until next time take care of yourself be safe and for now wagali is out so peace out and uh, bye